Restoration, Redeeming the Time Brothers podcast, a podcast by Gene Kissinger and Norman Kissinger, two brothers who spent their lives in ministry and raising large families. Our desire is to provide a digital place for those who long belong. And as always, we want to leave a nightlight on for you. That nightlight is out of the Old Testament prophetic book of Joel. It says, And I will restore to you the years the locust hath eaten, the canker worm, and the caterpillar, and the palmer worm, my great army, which I sent among you. And ye shall eat in plenty, and be satisfied, and praise the name of the Lord your God, that he hath dealt wondrously with you. And my people shall never be ashamed. And ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel, and that I am the Lord your God, and none else. And my people shall never be ashamed. There are times in life, seasons, where God's judgment and chastisement falls on His people, and He does that to bring us back to Him, to bring us to a place of repentance and, uh, and even resilience. He wants us to be, have a right heart, a holy heart. And so sometimes He allows circumstances and consequences to develop in our life, and they're painful. And they're like an army of locusts that sweep in and seem to devour every good thing. But the encouraging word from the book of Joel is that there's a purposefulness behind what God is doing. Even in those seasons of judgment, when God is bringing us to our knees and a place of repentance so that he can bring about a real work, a good work in our life and in our families and in our marriages and on the jobs and that kind of a thing, he's aligning us. He's stripping away that which is damaged and deadly so that he can build in that which is life-giving and good. My friends who restore cars, they, they strip away uh, rusted metal. They, they replace old and broken, busted parts. And oftentimes, the project that they're working on looks worse than it did at the very beginning. And, and it keeps looking worse and worse and more terrible until ultimately it looks good. It looks amazing, but you have to go through the process. And if you've ever done any remodeling in your house, it's it's not a comfortable thing. You got to tear down a wall. You you got junk all over the place. There's tools strewn over the hallway. You're you're almost tripping over everything. You got to make a schedule to use the bathroom that you're working on. I mean, it, it's a pits, but at the end of it, you get something that's beautiful. And so, if we can learn to trust God during those times of judgment, chastisement, correction, and redirection, we can end up with something that's profoundly beautiful if we'll trust Him, where we're fed by God, we're led by God, we're provided for by God, and we can look back with a sense of joy that God was doing exactly the right thing. And so let's, let's hold on to that as we go through this, that God can restore the years the locusts have eaten. God bless you. Let's pray. Dear Lord God, I thank you for this day. I do pray that you'd help us to remember that you've got a perfect plan, even in the midst of traumatic times. Help us, God, to trust that you can indeed restore the years the locusts have eaten. You can give us beauty for ashes. You can give us robes of righteousness for our rags of sin. You can do amazing things in our situation if we'll trust you with the whole process of restoration. Thank you for this incredible spiritual principle. In Jesus' name, amen. Hey, God bless you. I love you, but Jesus loves you so much more. Have a great day.